going to talk about some basic but really important terms of pharmacology. We will cover the basics of agonist, antagonist, affinity, potency and efficacy. So agonists are substances that bind to the receptor to create a physiological response. In contrast, antagonists block the response that agonists could have created by binding to its receptor. So now the agonist is unable to bind to its receptor. So now the agonist response is reduced. But that's not the only way that antagonists can function. They can also reduce the absorption, increase the catabolic action, and increase the excretion of the agonist. They can even change the conformation of the agonist, so now the agonist is unable to bind to its receptor. So affinity is a degree to which substance tends to combine with each other. So in simpler words, is how our drug, agonist or antagonist, tends to like our receptor. So the drugs can have high affinity, hey, hey girl, mm -hmm. or low affinity. Also, it depends on the KD. And now, for sure, you're thinking, what in the earth is a KD? Well, it's a concentration of the drug needed to occupy half of the receptors in the tissue. So, when we got low KD, so only low concentration of the drug is needed to occupy half of the receptors, we got high affinity. Also, a really important point is that KD is a constant and also governs the occupancy. So, here we got some uh, concentration occupancy curves. The one that I shifted more to the left has a lower KD, so high affinity. And the one we shifted more to the right has a high KD, so lower affinity. Still with us? Perfect. So potency is the concentration of the drug that you need to create a certain response. For instance, EC50 is the concentration of the drug that you need to create half of the maximum response. So when you got low EC50, so only a low concentration of the drug is needed to create half of the maximum response, you have high potency. So here we got some concentration response curves. The one that is shifted more to the left has a lower EC50, so high potency, and the one that shifted more to the right has a high EC50, so low potency. Last but not least, efficacy is the response which achieved from the drug. For example, just think about the fact that different coffees have different effects on you. Like when I drink a mocha, I feel great, I have plenty of energy. But if I drink an espresso, believe me, I'm going mad. My energy levels are on maximum. Agonist efficacy is of course bigger than zero. Full agonists that can generate the maximum response have high efficacy. And partial agonists that cannot generate the maximum response have lower efficacy. Efficacy actually is governed by the activation of the receptors. So antagonist efficacy equals zero because they block the response, they do not generate it. So here we got again some concentration response curves. Agonist A is a full agonist, so it generates the maximum response, and it has a higher efficacy than B and C. B and C are partial agonists, so their efficacy is lower than A. But of course, B has a higher efficacy than C. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope it was helpful.